This is a 1954 Fender Stratocaster. This model was first introduced in that year. The early model features the round string tree, which goes into 56. It has a somewhat rounded, almost clubby feeling neck, which I find very comfortable. Lots of players like it. It has the white Bakelite parts, which were used into early 56, which tended to crack and wear. So after mid-56, they went to a more durable plastic. You can see this switch tip is cracked. There's cracks in the pickup covers. And on some where players have played them extensively, they'll be pick wear worn right through the covers. The 54 model has less durable covers and components. In fact, you'll frequently see the control knobs, tone and volume knobs with cracks and breakage on the 54 and 5 models. But it is still a first year of issue, highly collectible and great sounding guitar. But as with some first year of issue automobiles, the first year had a few bugs in it still. But still an eminently playable guitar and highly collectible. Well, this one's $45,000, but at the height of the market bubble, one like this could have pushed 100. So values change depending on the economy and people's psychology. Ash body. Two-tone sunburst finish. This is original finish. It's just a very clean example. So this guitar has really not had a heavy use, but enough that you can see wear on the fingerboard. A rosewood fingerboard wouldn't show this kind of wear. The maple boards definitely showed wear, and Fender did indeed switch to rosewood in late 59 on the Stratocasters and Telecasters, and when they came out with the first Jazzmaster in 58, that was the first model that featured a rosewood board. The rosewood board is darker. It's harder, denser wood than maple. And it does not show the wear as a maple board does, because maple is a very light-colored wood. And as soon as you wear through the lacquer finish over the maple, you get into finger marks on the wood whereas the rosewood board doesn't require having lacquer on the board. Rosewood is a somewhat oily wood and is very durable, so Fender switched. Anyway, this is first year of issue, 1954 Fender Stratocaster.